one reason or another, people have to travel from one part of the country to another. Now take Ashok, for instance. He lives in Calcutta. He has been given a job in Madras, so he travels south. The temples of the south are different from those in the east, but like the people of the south, for his everyday food, Ashok wants rice. So he goes to a grain shop. The man at the shop sells rice by measure. Oh no, says Ashok, in Bengal we buy it by weight. Take it or leave it, says the man at the shop. This is the way we do it in the south. Now the man from Punjab, a newcomer to the south, comes to the shop to buy ghee. But what does he see? He sees the weights in the south are different from weights in the north. He doesn't like this at all. So off he goes. Ashok is puzzled, perplexed and befuddled. Because this sort of thing happens not only in the north and the south, but also in the east and the west. Of course no one is to blame, but the chaos is the same all over the country. The Seir is a Seir, you might say, but the Seir is different in different places. A Seir can be eight tolas, or it can be as much as a hundred and twelve tolas. And even the tolas are different in different parts of the country. And this, you must agree, is a confusing state of affairs. Sometimes a seir is not weight at all. It's a measure of capacity. And then where are you, unless you're a mathematical genius? And what about measurement of land? Four-fifths of our people live on the land and by the land. Some measure it in acres, some in bigas. In the south they have Kani and Veli. In the north they have Katha and Biga. And then there are Bigas and Bigas. One Biga is enough for a house and another is enough for a farm. So you see, the situation is bewildering and exasperating. There are in all 150 different systems of weights and measures in India. To do away with all these differences, India is adopting the metric system. You already know our new friend, the Naya Paisa. Naya Paisa belonged to the decimal system, which India adopted in April 1957. Now let's tell you something about the metric system, which is used by 58 nations covering more than two thirds of the world. The metric system is named after the meter, a primary standard of length. The unit of weight is the kilogram. The unit of capacity or volume is the litre. The structure of the metric system is based entirely on the number 10. The scale operates in multiples of 10, up and down, as in the decimal system. Thus, in the metric system, one kilogram is 10 hectograms. One hectogram is 10 decagrams. One decagram is 10 grams. One liter is 10 deciliters. One deciliter is 10 centiliters. And one centiliter is 10 milliliters. Also, one meter is 10 decimeters, one decimeter is 10 centimeters, and one centimeter is 10 millimeters. In the metric system, the relationship between the primary units of weight, length and capacity, between the kilogram, the meter and the liter, is easier to understand than in the many systems we now have. Here is a cube of 10 centimeters. Fill the cube with water. The weight of this water is one kilogram, the primary unit of weight. The volume of this water 
is a litre. Simple, isn't it? Now, how do these units of weights and measurement compare with those in present use? Let's get back to the metre, our basic unit of measurement. A metre is about 39 and a half inches in length, as compared to the yard, which is 36 inches. Taking a share of 80 tolas as a basis, a kilogram is about 86 tolas, or two pounds and three ounces. A litre is nearly a quarter of an imperial gallon. This is one kilogram commercial weight in cast iron. Five, ten, twenty, and fifty kilogram weights will have handles on the top. Here are weights ranging from two kilograms to a hundred grams. Commercial weights, such as this kilogram, will be made of brass. But they will be distinct from the bullion weights in brass, which you see on the left. The metric system is not altogether unknown to us. We have been using it in one way or another for many years. From now on, you'll weigh yourself in kilograms instead of pounds. You will measure your waistline, not in inches, but in centimeters and, if necessary, in meters. But think of it. Soon there will only be one system among 400 million people. One system instead of 150. The metric system. In trade, commerce and industry. And whether you want to buy rice or ghee or anything, anywhere in our land, in the north, the south, the east or the west, you will have no trouble at all. <laughs>